The evolution of the Animal Crossing Villager in under 60 seconds. The first generation Animal Crossing Villager looked like this on the N64 and GameCube. Back then we had these big heads and hats were required. There was no way to remove your hat whatsoever. And all of our clothing was tied to whatever shirt we were wearing. Animal Crossing Wild World would come around and change the formula up, introducing a second generation of Animal Crossing Villagers. And this time they didn't have to wear a hat. They could remove their hat. They had hair, which was a really big deal. City Folk came out on the Wii, which continued the second generation aesthetic introduced in Wild World, but made it where you could change the color of your shoes. Then Animal Crossing New Leaf introduced the third generation, allowing you to have pants, shoes, socks, and in general, the villager was a little bit longer now than before. Bringing us to New Horizons, the newest fourth generation appearance of villagers that are a little bit longer, a little more detailed to have more unique clothing items and more. But what will generation five bring to Animal Crossing? 